Hey there, this is Alex with PNW Bible Journaling, and I'm here today on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel to do an entry from the Stones of Remembrance April Faith Art Box Kit. And I have just adored this content, in part because I've been reading in the Old Testament. And so as I've been diving into Deuteronomy, I often have felt inspired by the words, but maybe not as inspired artistically. And so when I saw this little pile of rocks on the sticker sheet, I knew I wanted to do an entry doing and expressing a pile of my very own stones. And so the book of Joshua talks about that Joshua and individual men from the 12 tribes gathered stones to commemorate their rescue. Um, and so the Israelites built a memorial of 12 stones. Well, what I decided I wanted to do was create an entry where I build my own stones. So you see me here using just some basic acrylic paint. My original intention was actually to paint 12 stones. I think in the end there were actually 13, just for the visuals, um, the, the sake of looking like a, a pyramid triangle shape. But my goal was originally 12 stones, like the 12 tribes. And I wanted to create a pile that looked similar to that little sticker on the sticker sheet. So I'm just freehanding these. You could pre-draw them. Um, more my style to just dive right in. This is just uh, like a craft paint from um, Michael's, I believe. I chose the closest I could that I had on hand to gray. And I'm just, while I'm painting, looking carefully at the shape of each stone and noticing that, oh, they get smaller and they build towards the peak and they are laying on top of each other. They touch, they don't touch. Um, and then I was listening to worship music and it was such a beautiful moment for me because really the whole practice of building stones of remembrance and putting these in place was meant to be a meditation and to commemorate what God had done. And the Israelites themselves were a really forgetful people group. Um, they were always forgetting either what God had said to them, what God had previously done for them, what God promised them, um, whether it was individuals that forgot or the entire people group that was groaning and, and complaining through the wilderness. Um, you see me here, I'm working a little bit spatially because I know I want to stamp as well as use these little hexy stickers. Um, what you can't see beyond the screen here for the next couple seconds is that I'm lining up these hexy stickers to say, do not forget. Um, in this beginning of chapter eight, it says both remember and do not forget. So I knew I wanted both phrases on the page. Um, so what I'm doing here is lining up do not as a straight across line. And then I will put forget as a continuous word. And you'll see that later in the video when I pop my Bible upwards a little bit. Um, and so I knew I wanted that phrase, do not forget, because the Israelites had been such a forgetful people. And the truth is, I feel like I'm forgetful and that I lose sight of what God has promised me or what God has done in my life, um, especially in challenging times. And so I wanted to have both the negative and the positive there of remember and do not forget. You saw me prime the stamp on my arm, just gets it ready for ink. And then I'm using just a pale pink um, stamp pad I had on hand. Um, and then I'm going to put, remember the Lord, because I don't want to forget his promises and what he's done for me, but I also wanted that proactive phase of remember him. Um, here I was playing with the idea of almost doing like a shadow where the pink was the background and then doing the black word over it. You'll see after here stamping it the second time, I decide it's too cluttery, don't like it. <laughs> so I just leave it pink, which in the end I actually am really pleased with because it brings the color scheme um, of the pale colors, um, the kind of eastery and springy color scheme without overdoing the black. So I've got remember the Lord at the top and do not forget at the bottom. Now I want to focus on the passage of scripture. So I'm going to do a little bit of outlining using some highlighter washi and using some craft pens I had on hand. Again, I'm just trying to use the colors that go with the kit colors that I already have. Um, one of these, I think this one here is an illustrated faith precision pen. Um, the other one is just literally like a, a craft pen I grabbed at a local drugstore and I outlined it. I used some little squiggly lines and then here I'm going to use the highlighter washi and you'll see with the blue, I go through and I'm highlighting the phrases, remember the Lord, remember that the Lord, your God, keep in mind that the Lord, your God, um, that's what I'm doing now. And then the next th two that I do are be careful that you don't forget the Lord, your God, and then be careful 
that your heart doesn't become proud and you forget the Lord your God. Um, I am using a little gift card to kind of help me cut off the end. I found that that keeps it a little crisper. And then you'll see that I switch to purple tape here because this consequence at the end of what happens when you forget, I wanted to really emphasize. And it says, if you ever forget the Lord your God and follow other gods to serve them and bow and worship to them, I testify against you today that you will perish. And I just thought that's a really important thing to keep in mind that forgetfulness has consequences and that when we forget what God has done and we lose sight of what he has for us, there are consequences. Um, here I'm just grabbing a precision pen to outline the rocks. I wanted them to pop a little bit more. Um, nothing perfect about it, a little bit of white space around them. I also outlined the Lord. Um, and then what I'm doing is as I read through the passage, I'm writing down the words that stand out as to the things I should not forget and that I need to remember. So basically, they're my stones of remembrance, my commemoration of God promised leadership to lead the people. He promised provision. Um, I recently taught about manna and how God provides um, for his people. He provided protection and discipline. He provides a hope and a future. And some of those were right there in the scripture passage, and some of them I inferred from what God was saying. He provided and gives freedom and prosperity. Now, it's prosperity in the eyes of God, so I wanted to keep that in mind, his prosperity. Peace, here I wrote second chances, and really he gave like third, fourth, and fifth chances to the Israelites. Love, forgiveness, and a promised land. And those are all things that when I read this passage, not only are the Israelites promised those things, but so are we. And that in some way, I felt like I could relate to those words. Um, when you're building your stones, I would encourage you, they don't have to be directly from the passage like that. They could be commemoration of what God's done in your life, um, commemoration of lessons he's taught you. That's really what building an altar is. So I wrote my own journaling there on the bottom, which I always underline after I journal it. Um, and then I also, you couldn't, you can't see this off to the left, but I added a little washi tape and a date stamp. Then I introduced some other colors by putting in some bits. You see the crosses done with the highlighter washi, adding in the hearts. Um, and I, what I'm trying to do is really design-wise provide bits of color throughout the page that tie it all together. Next, I'm lining up stamps from the stamp pad, and it says, My Stones of Remembrance. And I kind of play with where to put it. This is where I settle on the left. I think I could have really done it on either side, but I didn't really want to overlap the rocks. So I chose the left side because I had a little bit more room. So my stones of remembrance, because these are things not just the Israelites were promised, but that resonated with me. Then I'm using the little star stamp, and I'm going to use a bit of pink and put those around the page, little bits of that. Um, to just bring some more pink throughout. Um, and I kind of went back and forth because I also knew that I was going to create a tab cluster at the top. Um, I'm kind of enjoying what it does to the top of your page and how it bulks up your tabbies if you add a bunch of little pieces. So you see me go back and forth here a little bit with stickers and what I should do. So I've got these little pink star splotches. Um, and then I will... I, oh, I ended up adding black because I, I did note that the black at the bottom of the page kind of weighed it down. So I wanted to bring a little black throughout the page. And I like that shadowed effect that remember I was talking about earlier, thinking about doing that with the word remember, um, but I decided against that. But I like it better how the stars um, look almost like a, the pink is a shadow of the black. And then I always love to use up everything that comes in the kit. So I used a bit of the paper that I still don't need for more entries to create a poppy tab the poppy is such a great visual of something that commemorates and, and reminds. And so I like that the tabs up for my entries of this particular kit are made from the poppy paper. And I'm using this washi tape, which I just adore with the rose gold um, stars, which also brings the stars that I stamped around the page up to the top. It is backed with another tab cluster from another entry. So I didn't have to do anything to the words on the back of that tab. Otherwise, I could have just put some washi tape over them. And then I actually cut out the negative, the leftover of the purple heart that I put on a different page and then a little yellow heart. So that's really just like not much sticker and it's mostly like the white backing of sticker. So that's kind of fun. It's a good use of the extra bits. Grab some um, Tombow glue to glue it down. 
same with the little hearts, just backed it with a little light bit of Tombow glue. And then um, I love the Tiny Attacher by Tim Holtz. I didn't end up using it on this page because the cluster behind it already had the Tiny Attacher. So I decided to snag some more of this highlighter washi and bring the blue up, the highlighter blue that I used. Just did a little crisscross effect and it kind of holds that um, tab in place better, especially since I'm not using um, the Tiny Attacher. And then I'm using, again, the same exact words, my stones, and I'm stamping that on the Bible or on the tab at the top. When I close my Bible, this is one of the first entries because it's so early in the Old Testament. And I love that the thing that I see when I'm looking straight at my Bible is this tab that says my stones. So there you can see the tab cluster up close and how that looks. Again, I love how those... Um, that little bit of effect that a cluster gives. And that really concludes this entry. I just want to end with encouraging you to put on your stones what you want to commemorate from your faith and do that because you won't forget. Just like we Bible journal to remember what God has done, build your stones. Thanks for tuning in with Alex of PNW Bible Journaling. Grab your Stones of Remembrance kit using the links below along with all the other supplies I used. And I hope you'll tune in for the month of May as we move into a brand new kit as well. Happy Bible journaling.